there's the temperature in the shade on the veranda 80 that's 20 is that 20 27 that's in the shade on the veranda if you're not out here on my new Harley Davidson thermometer the ter <laughs> well it, it must be true I think it's because it's on this tin it can't be right it is blooming hot but it says it's it's 109 Fahrenheit 109 Fahrenheit which is uh, 46 centigrade <laughs> I thought it was bloody hot I think my bike hasn't roasted in here I'm not going out on it it's too hot even to go out to be honest the roads are probably sticky tar sticky tarmac I've been doing a little bit in here but, you know the floor's all done but that's as far as I've got with the boarding it's just too hot I don't want to whinge yeah yes I do why can't it just be 74 no 68 to 72 that's what this old bloke likes uh. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. The uh, I'm just cladding it like that. What I do is where there's a bit of where it doesn't fit, I just stick a bit of wood in on the old because I make I I just knock this place up. To be honest, it's all bits and pieces. I mean, this back bit is just old fence panels. It's been here for about ten years. It's a nice solid bit. Look. Um, yeah, I'm just going to clad it all, and uh, but George, my son, says leave the leave the old the looking the old looking bit, Dad. So I don't know. I'm not going to do anything with the ceiling except repair any holes, <coughs> but um, it doesn't get any condensation in here which is good I think it's because there's plenty of air comes through and I'm not I'm not going to block up air holes and stuff it's just going to be a place where I can work on my bikes on my car in uh, relative comfort This pipe, tiny little thing, it's called the Londoner, it's made in England. Uh, they've got a name for these little things, haven't they, these little round balls? And you know, I can't remember what it is. The sidecar, motorcycle and sidecar are in uh, Andy's repair shop at the moment. Oh, 
I wouldn't take Mia out in it at the moment when it's hot like this. It'd be like an oven in that side car, even with the windows open. I would think. It's going to be more of an autumn winter sort of thing, I think, with a side car for the dog. He's down there, molting like crazy. <laughs> suddenly started molting with this heat wave we're suddenly experiencing. So, ah, oh, guy. Done much, but I bought myself a, a new air rifle yesterday. Actually, uh, it's called a TX 200, British made, 22 caliber. I bought a scope with it, and I've uh, spent took me a bit of time to get it to get the scope aligned yesterday, but I've got it now. I think perfectly I could uh, hit a blue bottle of a daisy. Although at 50 yards I don't think the blue bottle would be bothering me much. Actually I should show you the air rifle shouldn't I? That'd make it interesting. Don't go away. Yeah, I went and bought it yesterday. Couldn't really afford it, you know, but I... You know, when you're getting older, you, and you've got these... You think, oh, I must do that. Um, you just have to do it, I think. Otherwise, what am I going to spend my old age doing? This is it. It's called the... TX two hundred TX two hundred air arms. It's um, it got excellent reviews, and uh, I just couldn't resist it. And it fires beautifully. I bought um, I bought a. It's a Springer. You actually. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. You actually, you don't break the whole barrel, which I liked about it. You just break the bottom part of it. You pull it right down. I won't do it because never dry fire. Yeah, and it's got um, safety catch there, so you don't get your finger stuck in the breech bit, and uh, safety catch here. Yeah, I've got it pretty much tuned, the scope all lined up now. I've, it's not for, um, it's not for killing. I'm not really into that. Although, um, having said that, I am getting a bit fed up with the squirrels. We've got too many squirrels at the moment. And uh, too many squirrels and it's made a lack of uh, songbirds. I mean, I know it's quite time for songbirds at the moment, but I've noticed there not so many about. And I blame the squirrels predating the nest. Squirrels and magpies. And uh, this is supposed to be an animal sanctuary, my bit of land, but, you know, the uh, birds are not getting much sanctuary from the predators. But that's a different story. I probably won't. Do anything about it let nature take its course but I yeah I bought this because I love um, target practice target shooting find it very very meditative 
and you know you control your breathing and stuff. I'm a pretty good shot. Oh, I say so myself. The thing about this gun is being a Springer, is rather than a gas or a I think they call them PCP, I don't know much about them, but PCP guns and gas guns, they don't have any any recoil, whereas this one has a recoil and it's more difficult to hit target, well in my opinion, with a, I mean with a, with a gas gun you, it doesn't move, you can't really miss if you've got if you're a good shot, you can't miss. But this one is heavy, weighs about eight pounds and uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, and I just enjoy the fact that you've got to actually control every shot rather than just aim and fire. You recoil, you know, you get a bit of recoil, so when you fire like that, it goes up, so you've got to control that. But, uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's a walnut stock. It's the most expensive stock. <laughs> it's um, quite an expensive air rifle but uh, well I, I I reviewed lots of um, I, I didn't I watched reviews of lots of air, air rifles before I bought this and this is the one that appealed to me and I'm very glad I did very glad indeed I don't know how to film myself shooting so that you can see what I'm if I'm actually any good or not but uh, I might work that out some other time. But yeah, that's my new my new air rifle. A beautiful piece of kit. TX two hundred by Air Arms, um, a British company, incidentally, which is another nice thing. That's about it with that. So yeah, I haven't got on very well with my garage and I might do a bit later on tonight when it's a bit cooler. That's about it for now. So I've talked about the motorbike for the motorbike people, I've talked about the pipe for the pipe smokers and now got another hobby. Well, I've always liked. I've, I've got. A, I've got another one of these. Not very good, but I had it for years. But um, I only fire it occasionally. But this one, I think, because I've. I don't know if I told you, but I joined the local shooting club, so I should go down there and uh, enjoy it down there as well. So, thanks for looking in. From me and Mia, we'll say goodbye. Mia's hot. She does not like this at all. Bye bye everyone.